Hey guys, welcome back to Triple Space Program with Nitro. Well, the new update 0.23 is out, so I figured I might as well just go ahead and make a quick video on the new Rapier engines that came out for uh, our aircraft and SSTOs. Uh, these things are pretty cool. They have fairly low power at sea level depending on your plane's weight, so I have them right here. These are the new and exciting engines available on the propulsion tab, and as you can see, they also redid a lot of the UI for the entire um, uh, assembly buildings. Uh, clicking right mouse button opens up a new window on the side there, which is really nice. Uh, this is pretty cool new little interface that they got here, so I really like it. Um, these engines are very interesting. They use uh, liquid fuel and oxidizer, um, but when they're in air breathing mode, they only use regular liquid fuel, and then once they switch modes to the uh, the rocket mode, then they use liquid fuel oxidizer combo. So uh, to adapt to that, I attached them to these regular liquid fuel oxidizer tanks and put them on there. So. Uh, when this thing launches, the oxidizer left over in these tanks, I believe, does get used up before the other one does, since it burns liquid fuel first. And that kind of helps me maintain my center mass uh, ahead of my center lift, so uh, so far it's been working out pretty good. I did add three additional engines back here just to give us some extra propulsion. And even then I was having a little bit of difficulty getting this thing off the runway. I attached a couple of fuel lines from the main uh, fuel tanks right here to these other engines just to make sure that they work properly. But uh, yeah, so I did set up action groups for this just in case. Now these new Rapier engines toggle modes automatically. Whenever they run out of air, they toggle to um, the rocket breathing mode. But I did set up action groups on the turbo jets so I can toggle those on and off. And then I can switch the modes manually if I choose to using two. And then on three, I have the uh, toggle engines on and off. So uh, on my mouse, I have 12 buttons on the side, so it's really easy for me to hit those. I don't have to hit it on my actual keyboard to activate them. So it's a little easier for me to do it because I'm using a Razer Naga mouse, which is really nice. So let's just go ahead and do a quick test flight here, and I can show you guys these engines and how they operate. I did uh, a quick little change to this craft right before uh, the recording of this video. I was just moving the landing gear up a little bit uh, to see if I can get it to lift off the runway a little easier. So we'll see how that works. I just moved the landing gear on the back uh, up a little further. I hope these wings don't hit, but uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go.
Oh, there we go. And uh, as you saw with the engine switching on the new Rapier engines, that was actually the engine switching modes automatically. I didn't hit the action group to switch those, so that was pretty cool. Now we are indeed in space. So now we have uh, easily achieved orbit with uh, the new rapier engines on the space plane. And I'll bring it over here into the sun. Ta-da! <laughs> Pretty awesome. Let's see, where's the space center? Over here. Let's see if we can't land at the actual Kerbal Space Center here. suffer from the uh, the same problem <laughs> that SSD or that we suffer from and that's uh, center of mass and center of lift are now grossly off. There's no mass back here anymore. So uh, that kind of sucks.
but uh, should be able to glide all the way to the ground. <laughs> Just uh, won't happen very gracefully. Try to stabilize it a little bit. Well, there you have it, though, <laughs> the new uh, Saber engine. So even though this essentially uh, fails, I guess, as an SSTO, it actually did manage to get to orbit. But the best way to do this would be to go to orbit, dock with a station, refuel it, and then return to the ground for a craft like this. Otherwise, it just simply won't work very well, as you can see here. But... Uh, I'll probably do that later. I'll make an SSTO refueling station, and then that will solve the most of our problems. So other than that, I hope you guys like the, uh, the new showcase uh, of the new Rapier engines. So just be careful how you use them. <laughs> Otherwise, this happens. Uh, so that would definitely be the way that I would go about doing it, is just refuel this thing in orbit and then send it back down to Kerbin. And I'll probably put some RCS or something on here just so we have uh, that kind of capability. But overall, they work pretty well. I'm pretty excited to get started up with the new career mode and see how things have changed over there. So uh, see you guys later.